Well, last week we asked you to tell us who you think deserves the title of Indy's best dog park. And we had a lot of nominations. We knew we would, and we narrowed it down to four. And here are, here they are. The dog park at Emanuel on Indy's near south side, the Cardinal Bark Park in Brownsburg, Paul Patch Dog Park in Beach Grove, and Clay Terrace Dog Park in Carmel. And now we want you to see who the winner is. Congratulations goes to Cardinal Bark Park in Brownsburg. They win the title of Indy's best dog park. Sherman is live in Brownsburg to show up and tell us about Cardinal Park, Bark Park, and their big win. Good morning. This might be the best kept secret in terms of dog parks because we're in Brownsburg. It's Cardinal Bark Park. It was voted Indy's best park. There's a lot of really cool features to this park. Look at this little tunnel. Let's see if we can get Aries to, to run down. Aries loves to do a little ball chasing. Oh, well, he's going to decide to go around. <laughs> but this really cool tunnel feature is one of the cool things about this park. Come on over, Travis. Uh, Travis Tranmarger is the uh, director of Brownsburg Parks, right? That's right. And this park has been here, what, about a year? Yeah, we, uh, we cut the ribbon on it August 15th last year. Congratulations on being voted <laughs> Indy's Best. Thank you. Why do you think it was? I mean, I've been hanging out here this morning. I didn't bring my dogs. My dogs don't get, a well, get along very well with other dogs, but they do have to be members. That's number one. Um, but why do you think this was voted? Well, I think it was, it was well received when we opened it up. We had a couple of hundred members within the first two months of opening. And so I think just this, this community as a whole was just waiting for an amenity like this. And, you know, the way we set up the dog park was to, you know, largely be a social environment, not only for the dogs, but the humans. And so a lot of people congregate here with their dogs and, and uh, meet friends here. And, and I think yes. the, the other thing is we listened to the community and, and what they wanted out of their dog park. And, and so we, we worked with our design team uh, to put some of those features in. And, you know, we're still listening to our members. We have a Facebook page where they can interact with each other and, okay. and create meetups, uh, play dates with their dogs. And so, you know, I, th I think it's largely because of the social aspect. Well, and it, what's really cool as well, you can see some people walking on the trail behind us, but it's right on the B&O trail. Yeah, just to the south of just us. Just to the south of us. So you got, there's a plenty of spaces to even walk your dog because it leads to that as well. Um, this fenced in area to get you in is $10 a month. Right? You have to register your dog. That's right. Yep. And so that, that you provide proof of vaccination so we can ensure a safe environment for dogs and humans. $10 a month for those who live outside the corporate limits of Brownsburg and then $8 a month for Brownsburg residents. But we have several members that live outside the Brownsburg community and bring their dogs here well, on here a daily basis. There's a new park to discover if you haven't discovered it. Aries loves this park. And he loves this ball. He loves the tennis ball. <laughs> he yeah. loves the tennis ball. Yes, he does. Can I pick? Will you want me to pick this up for you? You ready? Here we go. Uh, there he goes. Cardinal Bark Park. It's in Brownsburg. It's voted Indy's Best. Come check it out. Even if you don't live in Brownsburg, it is a cool place to bring your dog and for, yeah, humans to hang out too. <laughs> okay.